Today we're at Wood, um, Simon Wood's restaurant, the MasterChef winner, and we are trying out the new menus, and I'm looking forward to it. Modern British, top of the range, top five in Manchester, I think. What do you think? I'm really looking forward to it. Simon's going to come and join us and explain all the dishes and the blood, sweat and tears that have gone into making them. So what are the main changes that you've made for the spring? I think well, seasonality is key, it's something that, that we're passionate about. So that's, you know, we've, we've got the Y Valley asparagus on there um, in all its forms, mm. which is an expensive product, but it's also the best in the country. Mm. And how often do you change the menu? We tweak the menu uh, on a major scale like this, probably every four months. So it gives regular customers a chance to just try new things? Yeah, absolutely. You better get in the kitchen now and do some cooking, haven't you? Garlic mushrooms on top. <laughs> so it's a wild garlic, seasonal wild garlic panna cotta at the bottom, almost like a mousse. And then it's got these pickled, tiny pickled mushrooms. Those pickled mushrooms are like insane. Yeah. And then some more intense mushroom puree in there. And the breadcrumbs on the top, which is just a bit, a bit of chew. Very nice, that. White beetroot, <laughs> aged balsamic, old scallop, which are hand dyed, uh, extra caviar, sea person, and a crab oil. Crab oil. And this is the Exmoor caviar that you were talking yeah. about. Sturgeons in Exmoor. And the, the be interested in this. Scallops are the main thing in that dish. And I found them extremely good. Uh, quality scallops, the hand dive. Did Look you at, like the Exmoor caviar? The Exmoor caviar tasted like caviar. We've got, um, first of all, the, the carrots that we've got. Um, slightly al dente, cooked fishy style. So they're cooked in carrot juice, white wine vinegar, salt, tarragon, um, and then slightly charred just to give it a bit of taste because the sugar in there should balance everything out. Yeah. You've got a carrot gel which is infused with thyme, uh, pickled shemenge, you've got a licorice and prune gel, mm. um, and then you've got the saddle of the rabbit which has been stuffed with the leg meat and the liver. Um, in there is a, a wild mushroom and chestnut dog cell, and that's served with the carrot tops wrapped in palmer hot. Blimey, okay, well, let's get stuck in, eh? So it's always nice to see rabbit on a menu, a bit of an alternative to, mm. to chicken. And it's a very neat little dish, this, like pizza rabbit, Mr. McGregor Garden. <laughs> Andrew's squab, which is a pigeon, comes from Paris. The, the reason why the bitter on is on there is because the bacon butter bread sauce is actually it's quite sweet. What we do, we take lard up from Italy, we render that yeah. fat completely down so, so it's liquid. Then we go in and saute in onions in it in time until they go really sweet, no colour, just yeah. going sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Um, we then go in with the breadcrumbs and cream and infuse that, making a, a bread sauce. So it's, it's, it balances the rest of the dish completely. You've got the, you know, the, the pigeon, the sweet shallots and the bits of radicchio which all works rather well together. That pigeon dish was a cork. He's got this, um, this bacon bread sauce which is outstanding. So you've got lamb best end, braised lamb neck, lamb kidney and uh, lamb sweet breads with the bottom of that savoy, jersey royal puree, rosemary oil and lavender honey. I like the look of this, I'm going to get stuck in. It's a delicate thing. I want to turn those. Hello, hello, hello. This is rhubarb and white chocolate. The chocolate we use is not the natural white chocolate for the crumble. We use this, which is the Colombian um, ethical white chocolate called Dorado from somewhere called Cataluca. I think it's definitely a sharing dessert. When he first described this, I thought this is one of those things where there's too much going on. But actually, it's got the whole balance. It's really. Good Do you like pudding? Do I like pudding? Yeah. I like pudding far too much. Can you tell? Hey. This is from our friends at Vimto. I like that. I actually it's like that. Childhood. It's a melt in your mouth moment. Right, I'll look forward to having mine now. Okay. I 
think they've got better and better as time goes on, which is what impresses me about this restaurant. Simon is a grafter. I'm happy. Top five easily in uh, Greater Manchester.